to hell. You know, God says the blind leadeth the blind, and they both shall fall into a ditch. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're looking for someone out here that's walking up and down these streets that's blind. You don't want to talk to someone that, that has seen the light and has the light of God. You want someone that's put the fire out. Or you want to put the fire out with your evil, wicked imagination. And you're, you're just like a wolf that's looking for that lame one that's falling behind a little bit. And you're going to just bite on him and gnaw on him until you kill them. And you've taken the light out of them. You haters of God. You hate Jesus Christ. You know what? You're like a roaring lion in the streets. That's what you are. Roaring lion in the streets, but you can't drown out God. And you can't forget that there's a holy and a righteous God that's going to judge you in the day that you stand before Him. And He's going to say, Depart from me, for I never knew you, ye worker of iniquity. And you know what? Your damnation is going to be greater than the one that walks in this door and doesn't know the way and the truth and the life. Because you have chosen to reject the light of God. And you have chosen to spread your evil, wicked deeds throughout humanity. And you stand there in pride before God. You better humble yourself before God. And get on your knees before God. And beg of His mercy. And that He might save you from your reprobate self. Repent of, of your evil, wicked deeds. You're sons of Belial. You're of the devil. Wicked and vile. And you stand there and you just parade your evil, wicked deeds with no shame. You're going to burn in hell. You'll burn in hell. I'm telling you. Jesus said he's the way, truth, and life. I mean, what light are you going to let shine? You know those candlesticks there? When they let that candlestick up, they're... They, sh they were never to go out, always to shine. But you have chosen the way of darkness and evil, a way of a, a road of, of abomination, because you've rejected that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Yeah, He was manifested in the flesh to die for man, that they might become a new creature in Christ, and they might put the old man away, that old man might die. But no, you want to fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's why you enter into sodomy. Wicked, vile, abomination. Hey, that penis wasn't made for the anus. That's right. You better get right with God. God's going to give you some disease that's going to take your mind even further than you want to go. Because you'll go to a point where you can't repent of your sin. And you can't come to God. You can't humble yourself before God. Repent, you evil dogs. That's why right. God calls you dogs. And the dogs are outside of the gate. There's no room for the dogs in the kingdom of God. Hey, God took and brought forth a mystery. And there was that. There was going to be, for by grace he is saved by faith in Jesus Christ. But the Gentiles were dogs. And you choose to remain as a Gentile outside of the gate that's going to be cast into a lake of fire. Out of darkness, you stand there and clap, and you, you just jab in the mouth, and you go against God, and you think your light is going to shine. You don't have a light. You're darkness. Darkness. And you're going to be in outer darkness. And we think gnashing of teeth. It's time for you wicked people to get right with God. You sing songs, but you don't know who you're even singing to. You supposedly worship God in this church, but you don't even know who God is. God is against homosexuality. He's against your wicked lifestyle of sin, lust, pornography. But your pastor supports it. Your pastor supports sodomites and queers. But the Bible does not. God said that these people are worthy of death. But not only those who do it, but those who approve. You people approve of this wicked lifestyle of sin. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because on the day of judgment, God is going to send you straight to hell. Because you love sin and you hate His Word. You hate God's holy word. You need to get right with God before God burns you in the lake of fire. That's the punishment for sin. 
You say that you you teach the word of God in here. You teach a bunch of lies. You people are blinded are by the devil, you? and you're going to go Morning. straight to you? hell you to you? because you support no, sodomites, you, know, you support homosexuals, and God will burn you in the lake of fire. You better repent. Your time is running out. God is stretching forth a hand to you today, and he says, repent. That means to turn away, to change. You have to walk on the straight gate. Notice he said straight, not alternative, not homosexuals, not this broad path which leads to hell. But he said straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads to life, and few there be which find it. You need surgery that's done without hands. It's spiritual, folks. You need a new birth. You need to be born again. You've been deceived to believe the lie that God is going to wink at your sin. God don't wink at no sin. No, he's going to call you on the carpet. And because of your sodomy, either action or sympathy, you will die and go to hell. That's you, Lord. You have taken the knowledge of God and you've chosen not to retain it. Therefore, God gave you over to a reprobate mind to do those things that are not convenient. It's not convenient to be a sodomite. It's not convenient to condone sodomy. Because you have to sear your conscience. You have to sear your conscience against the word of God. And you got a man in there. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He'll shake your hand. He knows your name. Oh, God bless you. He knows you're going to go to hell. Because you don't know the truth. Because he doesn't teach the truth. He doesn't teach the Word of God. He just gives you a good little sermon, a little story. And therefore, you don't discern sin. You don't acknowledge sin. You can't, you can't even see the sin in your life because you've been blinded by the God of this world. And you don't have the light of the Gospel. You don't have the truth of the Word of God to shed light into your life, to build faith in your heart. That's why you need to repent and start reading the Word of God for yourself instead of letting this dead dog lie to you. He's lying to you. He's not teaching you the Word of God. He does not tell you what Romans 1 says. He doesn't tell you that God gave His only begotten Son because of the sin of men and that He took your sin and became your sin so that your sin can be washed away. And you don't have to live in sin. Repent. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, for God to love the world that he gave. Yes, he gave. But not for you to, to walk and stomp on his, his blood. Not to take the testimony of Jesus Christ and to cast it aside. But that you might believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that you might lift him up in your life. And that you might love him because he first loved you. But instead, you live a man that has taken the word of God and he's twisted it. He's wrested the word of God. Just like the devil did in the Garden of Eden. Thou shalt surely not die. Oh, yeah. Well, Adam died in that day. That's right. You saw him in the garden. He's hiding from God. That's going to be you, hiding from God, because you have chosen not the Word of God, the truth of God, because of a man like that, old Pastor John, who has lied to you. He wants to call himself a doctor. Well, you know, doctors experiment on people. That's right. He's just experimenting on you with the Word of God to see how much he can draw you up into a, a pool of sin, a pool of sin. That's why he doesn't teach you the Word of God. Why don't you ever teach verse by verse, ah, line upon line? How about that? God said his Word will not perish. It will not flee away. It's going to be established here on the earth and in heaven. It's the same word you're going to be judged by in the day of judgment. How about this Dr. John? Is Dr. John preaching right? Is he preaching the word of God to you? 
No, he's not preaching the word of God to you. He's telling you that God's going to weaken your sin. God will not weaken your sin. He gave his only begotten son for you on the cross of Calvary. Turn from your sin, people. God is going to one day, he's going to return. He said he's coming back like a thief in the night for those who are not ready. If you're not ready for God, he's going to come back and he's going to judge you. And you're going to have to give an account for every idle word, thought, and deed. You are going to have to answer for homosexuality, for supporting these people. You're going to have to answer for these things. You see, I just talked to one of your church members here, and he have a hard, he's having a hard time understanding what real love is. This out here today, when you have preachers come to you and warn you, that is out of concern. We're concerned about your soul. And so we're here to warn you that you are one day, you're going to die, and you're going to stand before God in judgment. And we're out here to tell you the truth. You may not like it, but that's not the issue out here. We're here to tell you things that you need. You need Jesus. You need to stop supporting sodomites and homosexuality. You need to follow Jesus Christ. But what do we have? We've had some that come out, and they make a mock of the Word of God. But he said, fools make a mock at sin. People, don't be a fool out here. Don't be like your pastor because he's come out here plenty of times and he mocks the gospel. When you say homosexuality is sin, he mocks that word. People today, don't be a fool. Follow Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin before you die and go to hell. One day, it will be too late. The time will run out. Your heart is going to stop beating and you're going to stand before God in judgment. And you're going to have to answer for all of the homosexuals that you supported. What are you going to have to say to God? As you stand here and you laugh with the homosexuals and you hug everybody and you shake their hands, God says that these people are sinners. He says that these people deserve death because they have changed the truth of God into a lie. They don't want anything to do with God. He said that they won't retain God in their knowledge. And these people deserve death. But what does that say for you when you support them? When you love them, so-called love them. When you stand there and you give them hugs and you shake their hands. He said that not only those who do it, but those who approve. That includes you. If you approve of these things, you deserve to go to the same hell that they do. People, we're talking to you. We're here to be very personal with you. Because on Judgment Day, you're going to stand before God, and you're going to have to answer for your life. Not mine, not your pastor. He's not going to stand there and hold your hand. He's not going to stand there on Judgment Day. You're going to have to answer for your life. Be sure your sin will find you out. You will be punished for your sin unless you repent. That's why you guys are going to hell, because you're admitting that you're sinners. Now you just need to admit that to God and change. I mean, how hard is it, guys? How hard is it to repent and turn to God? I love it how these ushers come back when they think they're going to help somebody. They're going to protect somebody from the preachers. These little boys hanging around down here. He's my husband. I'm not even talking to you. That's the problem in the churches. The Bible says a woman ought to keep her mouth shut. Oh, fuck you. There you go. There you go. You heard that, did you? Yeah. And, and double it. Yeah. That's because you loud mouth Jezebels are going to go to hell. That's right. That's you. Talk about your family, huh? Yeah. My family's a lot better off than you are there, Jezzy.
Yeah, and the ladies over here saying F you. That's the kind of people you create. That lady right there, where does she go? Right there. But you wouldn't care because she's a black lady. She wouldn't care because she's a black lady. Black lives matter, right? Right. Yeah. You send them to hell. You let all those fags sit here and have sex with each other and spread all this stuff and you're talking about your health care is so important. Well, quit killing each other, you fag supporter. Oh, man, you're not even that far from the grave. What are you thinking? These people are crazy.